Here now is the author of American Marxism, the number one best-selling book of all of last year. Also the host of Life, Liberty, Levin, the number one show Sunday night here on Fox and his own radio show, nationally syndicated, uh, the great one, Mark Levin. All right, we don't have a lot of time, but I have really two topics I want you to weigh in on. Number one, the Supreme Court issue, and number two, this ministry of, of truth that Mayorkas is talking about. First of all, People have said a lot of things about this uh, Supreme Court issue. I'm listening to these Democrats, a couple of things. The Democrats don't believe a woman is a woman, right? Didn't they just nominate somebody and get somebody confirmed who couldn't define what a woman is without a biologist? So it's clear if you follow their logic, which is very difficult, a woman is only a woman if she believes in abortion or gets an abortion. That is what you have to conclude from the Democrat Party. Chuck Schumer screams at the top of his lungs which is a very ugly scene, saying that this will not stand, this will not stand. What will not stand, Chuck? The Constitution will not stand? Then I hear some of the left-wing women senators, or birthing people, or aborting people senators, I guess, they get up and they say things like, um, we're going to have a patchwork system. I guess they're not familiar with federalism, the Tenth Amendment, and so forth. We have a patchwork system in our country for all kinds of things. Then they say, well, a woman will have to travel to a state that allows abortion under certain circumstances and so forth and so on. These are the people who are busing illegal aliens all over the country, every corner of the country, flying them, busing them, training them. It's no big deal. But apparently, it's a huge inconvenience if you're going to have an abortion to go to the next door state or something like this. The Democrat Party is insane. The Democrat Party is at war with our institutions. It's destroying them. Immediately, Bernie Sanders wants to destroy the Senate and his sidekick, Elizabeth Warren, uh, when it comes to the filibuster rule. Let me make something clear. This is not the United States of the Democrat Party. This is the United States of America, damn it. And we, the American people, have a say in what goes on in our country. Keep your damn hands off our Constitution. They say they're worried about our children. They're destroying our children's minds in our elementary schools and middle schools. They say they care about women. They're destroying women's sports, Title IX and so forth. They don't even recognize womanhood. They say they care about citizens. They're destroying citizenship on the southern border and elsewhere. The Democrat Party is out to undermine this country. They've been threatening this court for years, threatening its independence, threatening individual justices, have destroyed the confirmation process, destroyed people's names. We don't have to take this from these people. And women of America, you should rise up. Chuck Schumer just said he represents 100 million women. He doesn't represent 100 million women, that goofball. He doesn't represent any women as far as I'm concerned. And this whole thing seems contrived to me. Have you noticed how well organized it is? They get their leaker. The guy puts out the first draft. All of a sudden, people are showing up like they're coming right out of the woods. They show up. They got their contrived signs. They got their talking points. And one other thing that's very, very important. Joe Biden said today, Schumer said today, these legal analysts have said today, this will destroy marriage, same-sex marriage. Have they read the opinion? This is in the opinion. Unable to show concrete reliance on Roe and Casey themselves, the solicitor general, meaning the lawyer for the government, suggested overruling those decisions would threaten the court's precedents, holding that the due process clause protects other rights. This is not correct for reasons we've already discussed. As even the Casey plurality recognized, abortion is a unique act because it terminates life or potential life. Abortion is inherently different for marital intimacy, marriage, or procreation. And they say, we want to make abundantly clear we're not touching any other rights because they know about the demagogues and the media and so forth. What happened to Ginsburg? Why don't they quote her in the 1992 New York University Law Review article? Roe halted a political process that was moving in a reform direction and thereby, I believe, prolonged divisiveness and deferred stable settlement of the issue. Here's what's going on. There is no federal constitutional right to abortion, period. They amended the Constitution without amending the Constitution, period. And so now what are they trying to do? Now they're trying to tell us that science isn't science. The same people want to mandate masks and vaccines. Is that a baby in the womb? Is that a viable baby in the womb at the very last minute? Yes. 
It's not a salami sandwich. It's a viable baby in the womb. And we have states and governors that say you can abort that baby, even though it's viable. It's not a choice. It's a human being. So to the Democrat Party, women aren't women. Babies aren't babies. This is insanity. Now, as for the truth, as for this, this thing they want to set up, the Ministry of Truth, we have a First yeah, Amendment. Yeah. They ought to abide by that. That's actually in the Constitution. We need Ministry of Truth against the government. It used to be called a free press. We don't have a free press. They're utterly and completely corrupt. They're in the back pocket of the Democrat Party in this American Marxist movement. If we had a free press, that would be the Ministry of Truth. But they're all corrupt for the most part. That's it. You're supposed to say, that's it, I'm done. What happened to the I'm done part? Anyway, that's why we call you the yeah. great one. The great one, Mark Levin. All right, Life, Liberty, Levin, Sunday night right here on Fox. Don't miss it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.